This is a very determined looking Fleming Rasmussen who has the unenviable task of getting this heat underway. This always the moment which sets the pulse racing and which gives the other competitors any clues as to how to squeeze a little extra out of the event. Ready, take the straight. Well, you heard Juliet say that a smooth start was one of the secrets of this event, and that is exactly what Fleming has managed to achieve. Rasmussen trying to keep the rhythm going, pulling with the arms and really pumping those legs. That good start he got is really paying dividends now. He's going so well, but I bet he's beginning to hurt now. The clock is ticking away, and it won't stop until the front of the first car is over the line, so he's got to keep working. Just a tiny bit further now. Come on, Fleming, keep going. 37.64, and his debut has been a good one. Fleming, a good start. You look very nervous at the beginning. Yeah. It's a big event for me. I, I was very nervous. What's the technique of pulling those cars? Just to stay down and uh, find a good rhythm. But it was very heavy at the last. I'm satisfied. Curtis Leffler will have watched and listened to that and hopefully learned. This is the first time he's ever attempted anything like this before. I'm not sure the crowd have ever seen anything like this man's muscles before either. He's just returned from one of the top bodybuilding contests in the United States, so he's in tip-top condition with his muscles looking fit enough to burst because of the incredible training regime and the diet he's just been through. Well, certainly no lack of effort from Curtis, but remember, this is just 19 stones pulling these cars, as opposed to Fleming's 24. That is going to make a difference. Fleming's time to beat in the top left-hand corner of the screen. This is where it's going to get very tough. He's only just arrived in Nassau a few hours ago. It's looking incredibly painful. He goes past Rasmussen's time, and he's finished just short of the line, so the car will have to be measured. The crowd looking stunned. His recovery from this event is going to take quite some time. Leffler, though, he put on a good show. Now, I know with bodybuilding training, it's quite good for building up stamina as well, but have you ever experienced anything like that before? Uh, no. <laughs> Can't say. Uh, it's tough. This is Finland's first showing in World's Strongest Man 95 now, and Marco Varalati soaking up the atmosphere already. There's a big contrast to Curtis Leffler's physique. Now then, is he going to do it? Look at this, he's certainly blasting his way over the first part of the course, taking very short, sharp strides. He's absolutely eating up the ground. Finland have always produced some fantastic strong men, and Varalati already looking as though he's carrying on that tradition. The time is going to be very fast. He's only slowing just a little bit, but he's going over the last five meters well. This is the hardest part of the course. It's going to be the fastest so far, 30.84 seconds. What a fantastic effort. There was only a little stumble near the start, but otherwise this was tremendous technique. And with only Forbes Cowan to go, the Finn has already got some good points on the board. So it's just the Scott left now looking quite quiet and pacing around at the start. A few worried faces in the crowd. That's Forbes' girlfriend, Maria, hoping that he can challenge that fantastic time by Varalati. Well, like the flying Finn, he's staying very low and he's got off to a good start. He's so much more experienced this year, and Marco knows this is a good man. Well, I think you can see there, Forbes is actually wearing climbing boots to try and get a little more grip on this gritty surface. He was a surprise finalist last year, but the British contingent here say it's going to be no surprise if he makes it through this time. He's still driving those legs. He's got to get the car over the line. It's just outside, but it's good enough for a gutsy second place in this first event. He looks absolutely shattered. The heat and humidity still a problem for these big men.
A valiant effort by Forbes Cowan, but not enough to beat Finland's Marco Varelati, who leads the pack in his first World's Strongest Man contest. Thanks for tuning in to World's Strongest Man on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can catch all the up-to-date information and stay tuned on how strong and pretty I am, obviously. Don't miss it.